is going on, people? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. And right now, you're watching the end of uh, round 33. We're going into round 34. And I'm going to die. As you can see, I only got <laughs> one shot left at my Zeus cannon. And uh, this is actually like near 3. I think it's around 3 in the morning. And we were like, you know what? We got to stop playing. Yeah, this is round 34. And so we said, let's go out in a blaze of glory. Now, I end up dying leaving Bentley to his own devices. However, Bentley is a very skilled uh, player in zombies, and I have yeah, no doubt that with his day. technique, and I've seen him do this countless times, this is, you know, I've decided to film this, and I told him I was going to do this, because this really is the ultimate strategy, and if you've watched uh, <laughs> Spiderbite and Meat Wagon do zombies, and I'm, I'm certain that they've done it, I haven't actually even seen any of their videos, I think Bentley has watched a couple, but Bentley's always been skilled. If you looked at the uh, challenge videos that, uh, what is it, Spider, ba Spider Bite and Meat Wagon, when they challenged myself and Bentley, and oh, wow. I basically was just a little bitch running around, and Bentley just took the whole show on by himself. Like, he just annihilated everyone and everything. So what happens is we're going to go into this. I'm going to die, and this is pretty high up. Once you get Let's up to these nice levels here, we're on 34, I'm heading into 35. And Bentley basically just takes the entire thing on by himself. But he has this technique, and I think, yeah, as far as I know, I think it's the same one that Meat Wagon 22 uses. Not and I'm not sure if even if a spider bite uses it himself. Again, I didn't watch it, so I apologize if it's a little redundant. But you need to pay close attention. This is the absolute only, well, not only skill. The primary skill that you need... Oh, there we go. No more shots left. Oh, no, I do have some. Look at that. <laughs> this is the the primary skill, and I'm just an idiot. I'm just... You know what? I'm tired. This is 3 in the morning. I mean, hell, I made it this far. And basically, I made it this far by watching Bentley play and watching what he does when I died. I mean, I never used to be able to make it past round 11. But when you die, I just constantly watch uh, Bentley play. And there's a technique that he does, and I'm trying to follow him around here. What I'm doing right now is basically the same technique that we're going to be doing, except I'm a fool and I end up getting killed. Here you go. It's a lot harder when you have two people, but on a solo uh, gameplay, this is absolutely the ultimate in zombie strategies for Kino der Toten. We never leave a man. You're gonna watch it as soon as I die here. Uh, he just he just won't let me die. I am going to die, no doubt. I am i don't even know where the hell I'm going. I'm just like, ah, I'm getting out of here. We had a key, we had, we had a special code word uh, for when we were bolting from a room and we would, uh, we would say vagina. Something now, vagina now or vagicil. You know, something that was a little bit odd, but at least you'd know kind of what, it's just an odd word. So as soon as you heard that, you knew that someone was jetting. Because it's important to know where your teammates are and where they're going when you're left in a room because it really does screw up the spawn system. You kind of have to play really a lot like a team. Now, you're going to see me die here. But this guy has hordes and hordes and hordes of, of zombies following him. But he's just so calm and collected. He just does the same thing over and over again. And he can do it round after round after round. It doesn't matter what level it is. It just takes forever. I mean, this one level is almost, what is it, 20 minutes. There he goes. I'm just like, oh. Don't worry about me. So you're going to see me die. You know what? We never and then you're going to see what remember. Bentley does in order to survive. And this technique, like I said before, this technique I that he does, like they're just, at this I point here, when you're up in this high level, yes, sir. you know, gunfire does almost nothing to them. You get some points. Uh, frags do absolutely nothing to them. I don't even know if claymores do anything. Nope. But I do know for a fact that frags do nothing. You can throw frags at these guys all day long. All it does is stun them a little bit. Look, he's gonna try. He's gonna try and bring me up. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I totally forgot that he actually did that. And then I'm down again. Dude, like, just stop it. I would have, <laughs> if it was myself, I would have just, I'm like, sorry dude, I'm not good enough to, to bring you back. I'm just gonna, uh, like, look at this. How many times you gotta knife these guys? It's absolutely ridiculous. Right in the head, they just don't die. He's like, dude, just go. Go and leave me. He's just getting, you can see the, oh, I'm getting actually the points here. 
Anyway. Come on, hurry up and die. I just want to hurry up and die so I can show you this. This technique again. Oh, he's up there. Yeah, he used the... <laughs> he linked the teleporter and went upstairs so he's watching you. There's nothing he can do. There's absolutely nothing he can do. I'm just going to die. There we go. And now we have... Oh, fuck me. We have just uh, just Bentley. Now you're going to see it. He does it again. On the outside, I'll give you a little bit of a tip here. Because this is what I had to learn in order to survive to even where I got to this level. And as you can see, I don't have the skill set as Bentley does. Um, he just, you know, you, you really do. It's a survival instinct. But you got to know how to move in these maps. And basically, you don't want to blast around the outside of the map so fast. You want to go to checkpoints. You want to make sure that those goofballs, those zombies, are following you. Because if you go around too fast, you end up having them come around and pinch you. They come around from both sides. So what he wants to do is he wants to lead them around. Now, watch this. This is all he's going to do. And he's just very, very calm. He's not even worrying about it. He's just going to walk around the stage, goes around them not nervous at all and he's just talking like i mean he's just like whatever you're gonna see like hordes of zombies and this is all he does he waits and you can't go too fast you got to make sure that they're following you so what he'll do is he'll just keep circling it around you've got to know where the barricades are be aware of where those boxes are be aware that you don't have to blast through everyone i mean especially it's a lot safer obviously you need to have juggernaut on at this point uh, because a double swipe will kill you fast and there's so many of them that it will indeed um, wipe you out and you're gonna see like I mean these guys as you're killing them the other thing that you gotta remember is when you're going along here and you're gonna see more people pouring in and he's not worried about it you get hit you're gonna get hit once or twice but with juggernaut you're gonna be able to survive and he goes very very slowly very carefully he just, all he wants to do is bring them around. The the grenades do nothing but give him points just so that he can actually get more ammo. Grenades will not take out the zombies at this point here. So all you're going to do is go around slowly. He's just watching them, making sure they're in a big lineup. And then when he has them in a, in a row, normally he'll shoot into them to get uh, multiple points. Because the bullets will go through the zombie to the next one. And then you get multiple points for one zombie. And that's why you see his points just racking up there. And he doesn't have an upgraded MP40, so it's not going to kill them. It's just going to give him lots of points. And even if he gets lucky enough and actually does kill some of them. See, look at this. I mean, he's just calm. This in Kino Der Toten, learning this strategy of going around the stage is key. And it's not just the only way that when you're up to this level. Again, because shooting is not going to kill them, he gets points from it. And what's he, what he's doing and why he needs why he needs the friggin... Um, uh, of course, he's got uh, insta-kill on, but... Now he's got to be careful because there's so many zombies that come in pouring in all at once. If you don't get something like insta-kill, then basically what's going to happen, what's going to happen is uh, they're just going to keep pouring in. So eventually you're going to see them actually using the, uh, the, the barriers. And the barriers is what's going to kill them. But again, when you use them, you must make sure that you keep moving. If you do not keep moving, you will die because at this level here... As you're killing the zombies, more and more are pouring in. There are a ton of zombies, which is why it takes so long to actually finish these levels. When you get up to 35, you know, 40 or whatever, each level takes so, so long. And it just takes for flipping ever. Um, again, I mean, this probably is going... There you go. So now he's going to watch. And he can't stay there and watch because as they're killing, as they're coming through, and they are all coming through... Yeah. More and more are going to start oh pouring God, in. You're going to see more zombies coming in. You can't stay in uh, areas like that. So you can see they're just pouring in. The barrier's doing their job. So now he's got to make his way back to the stage again. Because they're coming in from everywhere. That, that barrier is just annihilating those zombies. And that's really the, the technique that... Uh, is going to get you to the high levels. You must stay calm, which yeah, is something yeah, I don't yeah. do when I'm playing. I'm just, you know what it is? I'm not used to getting up to that high level. He's really played wanted. it so much that he's just, he knows how fast they move. He knows what he can do. And he knows how, basically, to take them all out. So I'm here comes a whole horde of uh, Zombalombers. And he's going to do the same thing. He's going to sort of, like, basically go again. slowly around. And he's going to constantly, okay, now I'm at this going. point here, he's got more ammo. He's going to constantly watch um, 
watch that barrier to make sure that the barrier is active and when it's active that's when he's going to activate it again and i'm trying to actually help him out i'm trying to tell him like yeah you know it's active when it when i can see it because he's got to be turned uh turned around i'm like yeah you know it's ready but even when i don't say that he knows he knows about the amount of time he's played this so much he knows how long it takes for the barrier to actually come back and it's also important that you're shooting these guys. You need to get something like the MP40, even though most people are like, oh, don't get that. It doesn't matter. You're not trying to kill them. You're trying to get points. Get the MP40, wait till they're in a lineup like this, and that's exactly what Bentley's doing. Just getting hordes and hordes of points. The reason why you need points still is you need to activate that barrier. So once that barrier is activated, then you're going to need to buy more bullets and do the same thing. And all you're going to do is repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, you're going to have the odd straggler come in because, you know, he's still going to get uh, headshots and stuff. There you go. Again, barriers going. But he can't wait too long. He can't wait too long. That barrier's killing. Look at this. The second that barrier's on, picks up some more MP40. Yep. The second that that barrier is activated, look at this. You cannot wait. They come in from everywhere. At this level, they're going to just constantly pour in. And as long as you're moving... And you've got Juggernaut, you're going to be all right. <laughs> but you don't want to move too Epic fast. You want to make sure that that barrier is doing its job. And that barrier can only do its job if you're taking your time on that side. So you don't want to, like, sprint through everything, but you do need to constantly be moving. And then the, the longer you're on that side, the longer that those uh, oh, zombies man. are going to be friggin' going through that barrier and getting chopped up. And he's just going to repeat it. This, this technique will work will work on almost any level it is yes it's boring but if you're looking at high um high levels and you want to get high levels uh then this is where you're going to go you're not going to get necessarily the highest amount of points because the barrier is killing them but in order to get to super high level this is what you're going to want to do because i don't i don't believe or you could correct me if i'm wrong but when you're using the uh, the electrical barriers and everything like that you don't actually get the points it's just being activated i'm not sure i don't i don't think that it is and that's also why he's constantly shooting in there um but i i know it's not showing on there in the barrier but i don't think you get actual score points uh in behind the scenes when you're actually activating it so again he's just you know rounding them up staying very very calm he's not even worrying about it because they cannot chase him and you don't want to sprint around the stage you do not just like when you're going around the outside oh yeah he's just throwing stuff on he finds it amusing um, so you don't want to, the same yeah, as going around the like, map. You don't want to sprint around the stage because you're going to actually easily be able to overrun them. So again, he's just checking as soon as that barrier is on. No worries. And the juggernaut's going to save him as well. Oh, look at that. Can you believe it? Yeah. Now he's got to keep moving. So we're getting near the end here. Yeah, I believe forward. anyway, we're getting close. Are we getting close? Oh, we got another five minutes. Anyway, no, no, we're not getting there. Maybe another round or two. But you're going to see, just watch the technique. Honestly, if you master this, if you master this technique of uh, being able to sort of very calmly and collectively go around that stage, you're going to be able yeah. to get to any level. Any level. I mean, when I first played, I told them to keep resetting because when, when I only made it to like level uh, 11 or 12, he would just do this. He would just do this, and I'd have to watch him just kill everybody, and then the next level, and then I'd die again right away, and then he'd do this. I'd be like, all right, this is no fun. So I had to learn. What I had to learn, basically, is the other primary technique. This is the ultimate strategy. This is the one that's going to get you to the super, super high levels uh, by yourself without having to worry about anyone else at all. But the other thing that the tips, like we're going to, I was thinking, um, and Bentley actually said that I should probably put it out because I'm a noob in terms of uh, zombies, just like a lot of you guys. But I've learned a lot, like a lot, just in playing a few rounds with uh, Bentley. Again, um, I'm sure I would have learned the same by watching Spiders and Meat Wagon's videos. But I mean, I, got, I watched it here and he was personally sort of coaching me through it. So what I'm going to do is actually give you sort of a noob or a novice guide on tips tips all the tips kind of like golfers tips i don't know if any of you guys golf but there's always these tiny things you know watch your feet where you're standing how you're holding it your head up don't move blah blah blah. these tiny little things that all add up to great gameplay and it's the same thing that bentley has sort of taught me uh that has allowed me to survive to level 35 now this technique here i have not learned yet 
So I watch him a lot. I haven't had the opportunity because he's always, Actually, I think that's well, again. he's always alive and I'm always dead. So I don't get the opportunity to do that. But he wanted, he was like, hey, you want to do it at the beginning? What you saw when I first started, he's like, let's run around the stage. And that was my first time I ever even tried to run around the stage and you saw me fail. Probably a lot easier um, with one player because with two, you've got, you know, he was in the lead and then they started coming through and then I ended up, and I don't think I had Juggernaut either. Juggernaut is the key, especially when you're this high up. When you're this high up in a level, you have to have Juggernaut on. If you don't have Juggernaut on, you're pretty much done. You're done because a double swipe kills you. Um, which I'm, by double swipe I mean like sometimes the zombies will actually hit you twice like fast. And in this case here with Juggernaut, you survive, but without Juggernaut, that double swipe actually kills you. So you definitely, definitely want to make sure that you have that. If you don't have it, you're pretty much done. But uh, this definitely, start doing this technique early on so that you get used to it. You got to get used to where the things are on the stage so you don't run into them. Because I had, that was uh, another one of my tips, is being aware of what's around you. Because I've got caught on so many things like a dumbass. Look at this. Like, I mean, seriously, I would not have even stood there that long. I was like, oh my god, all the zombies are coming. Oh, he's in my face. And then he doesn't care. And he's just walking around slowly. Learn this technique. I'll give you guys some tips. All the basic tips that allowed me to get to 35, being a noob. Believe me, I've got like almost zero skill in zombies, and I was able to learn very quickly just by listening to these very basic tips uh, from Bentley, and they allowed me to survive, um, you know, to the point where I got to actually level 35, and that was the very first for me. I've never been that high before, not in any zombie match. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at this guy. He's about to friggin' finish him off. And this is it. We're at the end. So he single-handedly took on a what I consider a very high level. High level without cheating, of course. That's an important aspect, uh, an important part. Oh, look. Now he's just getting cocky. He doesn't even care. <laughs> what a cocky bastard, eh? Um, so anyway, I'll give you that tips, but make sure you watch it. I mean, pay attention to what he's doing. Practice it. The best way to do it is to practice it, and that's what I did. But the technique is, for a lack of better word, flawless. If you learn that technique of going around the stage and then using the barrier, uh, and then and carefully but constantly going around, looping around to the stage again, you will be able to continuously go to the next level. There you go. So I'm back. Little celebration, shoot my gun off. The only time I've been able to shoot in 20 minutes. Anyway, that's it. I'm Guns for Hire. Peace. Get the latest updates and stay in touch with the NGT community with their all new Facebook application. Check the description of the video for details.